Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create the parameter field in Crystal Report for Enterprise. So, do that, we have to go to the Data Explorer view. If we right click within the parameter area, we will be able to select the new parameter. Now, let's go to the tool and see how we can do this. So, here is my parameters area. If I want to create a new parameter, I can go here and click on new parameter. Once I go here, first of all, I have to enter the name of the parameter, which can be up to 255 alphanumeric characters. And then we can change the name and then I have to select the type of the parameter along with the other properties. So I can choose from all these list of data types which are available to us and here we can select the type as number, string, date or others. Then we have allow multiple values option. So this value will allow the users to enter multiple values for this parameter. If I choose allow multiple values here, I have three options range, discrete and discrete and range. So if I select range, we are prompted for the parameter values and we have to enter the start value and the end value. For example, if you enter the values 1 and 10, the range will be 1 is to 10. After that, we have the discrete value. So discrete value means that the parameter will accept only the discrete values uh, rather than the range of values. And if you choose the discrete as well as range, then in that case, it will accept both. So if the allow multiple values and the discrete, discrete options are selected, the parameter will accept multiple discrete values. You can enter more than one value, but these values will be evaluated individually and will not be interpreted as a range. If the allow multiple values and range option is selected, then the parameter will accept multiple ranges. So this is how we can choose from the discrete range or discrete and range option. Then I can make it as a optional prop if I want. So this is how we can create the parameter in Crystal Report for Enterprise. In this tutorial, we have seen what are the different options like discrete, range, allow multiple values and then the discrete and range option in the Crystal Report for Enterprise. Thank you.